Tyson Fury's promoter Bob Arum has uh, confirmed that the newly crowned WBC champion is targeting fights against both British boxers Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. And once he has seen off American fighter, that's at Deontay Wilder again in July. And Wilder's camp has officially triggered his rematch clause and the bout is set to go down in July. He could then possibly fight the Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Puliev winner in November or December and then Dillian White will come February 2021. I mean, Tyson Fury is the man everybody wants to beat. And um, if he goes on to fight um, Deontay Wilder again, let's start off with that one. Do you think he has the arsenal to beat Wilder again? Yes, I definitely think so. Judging from the past two bouts, uh, I think he had Wilder and the rope in the first. I think he won the first bout, although it was a draw. The second one, he came out and he, I mean, he won it outrightly, knocked him out. And if they're going for the third one, I think it's, it's, a, it's just be a bad one for the Wilder. Mm -hmm. I think he should have taken his loss, move on, regroup, rebuild, and come back. Going, going to fight Tyson Fury Im almost immediately yeah. is the bad approach for, for Wilder. But it, it's July. He has a few months away. I, I think he has about three, three months to, to prepare. And Deontay Wilder's camp, they're already saying that Tyson Fury doesn't know what will hit him in July. So it feels like this guy wants to go back and uh, probably consult the Oracle or something to see how he can get to defeat Tyson Fury. But I just feel like there's something different might happen. Like we saw between Anthony Joshua and um, Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, when Ruiz knocked out um, Joshua and he came back fighting, had the second the, the, the rematch, and of course he got his belt back. And I just wonder if the same thing will happen between uh, Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, Fury obviously is a superior boxer uh, against Tyson uh, and Deontay Wilder, and uh, we've seen it from the first two bouts. Mm. Wilder does not stand a chance against Fury. Fury on a good day would continue to beat Wilder, and the, uh, personally, I feel going for a trilogy for this bout is, is the wrong approach. He should have taken his time, go back. Uh, fight against Big Baby again, Luis Ortiz, or go against Dillian White, mm -hmm. get a victory in that one, then wait for the winner between Tyson Fury and, the, uh, and Anthony Joshua, who might eventually be the unified champion of the, of, of the heavyweights, and take a chance against the person. Mm -hmm. Instead of going for a trilogy against Tyson Fury, I think that was the wrong approach for, mm -hmm. for the Ultimate Well, he has triggered the clause, and uh, let's see how that turns out for him in July. If he get knocked out again, or if he get to redeem his image by beating Tyson Fury. But let's talk about Anthony Joshua and uh, um, Puliev. Um, yes, everyone is already tipping a Tyson Fury, Joshua mad, but don't you think Puliev has what it takes to, or probably he's the underdog at the moment, so anything can happen. He can actually knock out Anthony Joshua because he might be underrated. He might be seen as an underdog, which truly he is an underdog. And like we saw Andrew Ruiz defeat Joshua, it just might happen with uh, uh, Puliev. The thing about the heavyweight is there are really no underdogs. Mm. A punch from someone and it's, and it's light out. Uh, so uh, I think I know Joshua knows this. He has learned his lesson from Andy Ruiz. He's not going into this bout underestimating Pulev. And Pulev is, I mean, he has a decent right hook. Uh, he, he's fast. He, he's, he has a stature. And I think, I think he's going to give Joshua a good one. Mm. But eventually, Joshua should be winning that bout.